minimal invasive right axillary approach for ventricular septal defect closure. My name is Dr. Dachkatami. With more than 20 years of experience and the world's largest number of patients treated by this approach, my team and I use state-of-the-art minimal invasive technology for the care of your child with a congenital heart defect. The most common defects curable with one surgery are ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, partial anomalous pulmonary venous return, partial atrioventricular canal with mitral valve cleft, and double chambered right ventricle. They're repaired through a mini incision hidden under the right arm. While sparing muscles of the shoulder, a small vertical incision is made underneath the right arm, the space between the third or fourth ribs is opened, and the heart approached. Cannulate connect the child's vessels to the heart and lung machine for cardiopulmonary bypass, allowing safe repair inside of the heart. Through the right atrium, which is the most common surgical window into the heart, the VSD is exposed behind the tricuspid valve and repaired with a patch. The right atrium is closed and the heart resumes its normal function. Cardiopulmonary bypass is discontinued, the cannulae removed, a drain left, and chest closure done with cosmetic absorbable skin suture. The kids are extubated in the operating room and transferred to the intensive care unit for a day or two of recovery. This is the appearance of the incision postoperatively. Perfect results have been achieved in hundreds of toddlers and children, from five kilogram babies to adult sized teenagers with shorter lengths of intensive care and hospital stay. The approach is used for repairs of VSD, partial AV canal with mitral cleft, PAPVR, including the Warden operation, ASD, scimitar syndrome, core triatriatum, and double chambered right ventricle. There is no restriction to physical activity after hospital discharge, so kids can get back to being active kids again.